Oh, hey! I'm so glad that you can make it. I thought that it would be super fun to bring you into my creative process and have you join me as I create artwork. I don't have a concept in mind yet, but what I do know is that we're gonna convert this space into this. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna place you in this corner over here and I'll check back in in a moment. Figure out where to shoot it. Okay, there you go. Um, can I wear your backdrop stand? Of course, yeah. Oh, this is where we can stick the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you make it go this way though? Yeah, it's gonna be a little down. Okay, so I think I'll have the Fuji baby over here. I'll have the GoPro over there for two different angles. And then I'll set up the backdrop here. I just need your help moving the bike to the hallway. Even though we're surrounded by solutions, we may not see them. We may be so blinded by the burden we feel that we forget to look up. Sometimes that weight we feel is the power of the universe showing us a way out. Unburden yourself and set yourself free. Okay, so now you're on the very edge of the frame. Let me take a picture so you can see what you look like. That's perfect. I like it. Good job. with such nice things. Normally I would tape the backdrop to the wall, but my husband let me borrow his backdrop stand. So I get to use fancy equipment. Hmm. I need to decide if it's a full length or three quarter. And I think it's going to be a three quarter because <laughs> I don't feel like digging in my closet for my black bed sheet. Now let's set up the camera gear. This is my setup and I'm going to show you because it's a very tight squeeze. Oh, there's my cat. All right. So here's my camera setup and I have my trigger and here's my backdrop. I'm going to be closing that window because there's a very harsh line right here behind me, which is creating a weird lighting situation. I'm going to be replacing this whole backdrop completely. Anyways, I'm cutting myself out and replacing it. So I don't really care that it's got those lines in the back. All I'm going to care about when I edit is the shadows behind me to try to get them as realistic as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and put my camera back on the tripod. So it looks great. I'm going to go ahead and put on my costume and then my wig. I have a problem. I have to get this off the ring. Adam has officially dremeled the little loop that holds this, these keys together. And I think I'm gonna use this one because it's more ornate and pretty. And then I'll use this for the floating keys. Let's tie this together. This is turning out to be a little bit more complex than I originally thought it would be. All right, so we've got a key and we got a neck. And then we're gonna tie the key around the neck. Oh my God. Probably should have tied this around my neck first. I'm taking That works. There we go. I feel like I'm on Pirates of the Caribbean. Now I gotta mark my feet. <laughs> Let's line up. You gonna set my camera? I'm 
seeds now, but I think I want to shoot them on a light backdrop so that I can easier cut them out a lot easier in Photoshop. But I'm going to take this wig off. As fun as it is, it is driving me a little bananas. The smart thing would be to take off my dress. And somehow I cut myself, but I'm wearing a onesie, which is totally fine in most instances, but again, it's a onesie, so I don't want to be flashing too much of myself. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let's take some key shots. These are always fun. So I think we've covered everything, hopefully. Now we're gonna go ahead and get to editing.
I need to brush her. 